All right, everyone, uh, good evening. I am going to do a Lightroom tutorial video this evening on um, how to save a bad photo. <laughs> so this photo I took was uh, about a last winter, and I'd just gotten a new lens and was really screwing around and wasn't paying attention, and I overexposed it a lot. Um, I have already done an edit on this photo uh, a few different times and I really saved it so um, hopefully um, I can help some of you save a, a photo that uh, didn't turn out. But anyhow, here's the photo. It's a landscape a creek. It's way overexposed. So what we're going to do right off the bat is drop the highlights. Go and drop the exposure. Bring up the shadows. We're going to hit it with some contrast. And we'll stop right there. Now I'm <clears throat> Now we can actually see what's in the photo a lot better, so uh, I'm going to go and crop it. I, it's a little tilted to my eye, um, so I'm gonna hit the crop tool here, go down to angle, and just use the slider. I think that was about level. We don't have a very good reference on this photo, no real straight horizons or anything, but uh, I think that looks good. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so next, I think I'm going to work on this sky. I, I vividly remember the day. Um, it was sunny sky with kind of white puffy clouds. Everything was covered with frost. Um, all these trees in this grass, uh, grassy bank over here was just covered with frost. So uh, I'm just trying to uh, bring it back to how I remembered it. So go to this radial uh, radial tool here click and I'm just holding it down to drag uh, holding down the button on my mouse to uh, drag this out into an oval shape we'll raise it up a little bit about there down okay about there so if you hover over the active thing here, this will be changing all what's in the red. We don't want to change that. We want to change the sky. So we're going to go scroll down to Invert Mask. And what that'll do is bring it all to inside the radial uh, uh, radial tool here. So that's what I'll be changing. I'm going to go up, give it a little bit more. Uh, cooler temp, more blues, and I'm going to just bump the saturation. Something about maybe right there. I'm going to give it some more contrast. And I'm going to take down the saturation a little bit. It's starting to get a little bit unrealistic, a little bit too blue. So really, I dropped the saturation almost all the way back down. The contrast was really bringing out the blues. All right, I'm going to be done with that for now. I remember this uh, reflection in the water being quite a bit uh, more vivid as well. So I'm going to do another of these radial filters. Kind of dragging it over there, moving it. about there and I'm gonna have to invert mask again 
Okay. Yeah, that's all the water. So bump the clarity a little bit. Mm, highlights isn't doing it. A lot of this is just, there it is, just a little bit of saturation. And I'll try a little sharpness. A lot of this is just trial and error and uh, finding out what works for you. All right, now this side here, I don't know. I don't know what my setting was. This is a manual focus lens. I don't know if I just didn't nail the focus or what my aperture setting was. It doesn't show the data up here. But it's just a little bit soft over here. So I'm gonna do this gradient filter. That's this one. Click and There we go. So that's just gonna do this little portion of rocks here. I'll go a little bit further with it, get a little bit onto that rock. Um, bump the clarity a bit, a little contrast, and some sharpness. That's uh, quite a bit better. Um, now we've got this frosty grass and this uh, frosty trees over here. I'm going to try to bring that out a little. We'll do another one of these radial filters. I like these a lot for landscapes. I use these quite often. Put that there. there to invert. Add a little contrast. Darken up the shadows. Ah, just a little bit. Get some clarity. No, nah, clarity's not doing it either. A little bit of sharpness. Now, most of you won't notice this, but this I still remember this broken off stick, so I'm going to zoom in on it. Got this stinking broken off stick right here is bugging me, so hmm, how do I want to make that go away? Let's try spot removal. We'll go size down. I'm just going to see what it does. <laughs> so what that did was it just brought some sticks over from here and put them here. I'm perfectly fine with that. It's not realistic. On it. Actually, it's not bad if you were to zoom in on it. <laughs> Zoom back out. You don't see the broken off stick anymore. I am totally good with that. Um, okay, now I'm gonna go down. I kind of wanna bring out these greens a little bit here. So I'm gonna go all the way down to saturation i'm going to bump up the greens a tiny bit see if i can get some of this moss to pop out a little bit too yeah that'll work i'm sure there's better ways to do it but that'll work for me i'm going to do another gradient filter or the sky 
that should be the whole top half yeah I'm just gonna work with that a little bit it's still oh there we go I'm gonna drop the saturation a hair Oh, that looks nice. Okay, now that, to my eyes, looks a lot like what the sky looked like at the time. Okay, now, bump the vibrance a little bit. A little bit too much. Clarity a bit. I'm just going to go mess with these a little bit too. Oh. There we go. I dropped the shadows down. It really made the brights pop. And I'm going to bring the darks up just a little bit. I think I'm going to mess with the sharpening. Looks pretty good. looking at some of the details here make sure I didn't lose any detail by overdoing it looks pretty good I mean it is some frosty ground there's ice right there I'm good with it that was uh, what I would consider saving a really badly overexposed photo so um, once again I'm totally not a professional and uh oh, there are a lot of better photographers and a very much better um processors than myself but uh i get by if i can help maybe a handful of people save something um then i'm happy with it so thanks for watching